stuff that's here is replaceable people are not so so having the family is the most important thing this is not a scene from a disaster movie it's a harsh reality it's the new reality for millions across the western United States where wildfires have become a part of daily life All right, dude. Yeah, let's get out of here Wildfires, once a seasonal threat, now rage unchecked year after year with terrifying intensity, leaving destruction in their wake. Homes are reduced to ash, lives are lost. We had everything, like the sentimental things, like my mom passed away, we had only a few things of hers left. Entire ecosystems vanish, altering the landscape forever. We've entered a new era of inferno where the flames seem unquenchable. The year 2023 etched itself into our collective memory, a year marked by unprecedented devastation. The catastrophic wildfires that tore through California, Oregon and Washington were unprecedented in their ferocity and scope, leaving communities in ruins. All 29 fire departments in our county are not prepared for this type of widespread disaster. Millions of acres were scorched leaving behind a trail of devastation that stretched for miles, a stark reminder of nature's fury. The images were apocalyptic cities glowing orange under a smoky sky, families fleeing their homes with only the clothes on their backs, firefighters battling blazes so intense they seem to defy nature's laws. But this isn't just about the West Coast, the threat is spreading. From the tinder dry forests of Colorado to the windswept plains of Texas, wildfires are becoming more frequent, more intense and more destructive. The question is why? What has changed so drastically? What's driving this terrifying trend? What factors are fueling these infernos? Over which the unusually strong winds for this time of year, the Santa Ana winds they call them, poured in on Tuesday night. And it's that that really lies at the heart of this disaster. It's a story of a changing climate, reckless human actions, and a failure to adapt to a new and dangerous reality, a reality that demands urgent attention. This is the shocking truth about America's wildfire crisis, a crisis that shows no signs of abating. The earth is heating up and the signs are all around us. This is not a debate. It's a scientific fact supported by overwhelming evidence. Decades of research and mountains of evidence confirm it. The data is clear and irrefutable, and nowhere are the consequences of this warming more evident than in the American West, where a dangerous feedback loop is fueling the wildfire crisis year after year. Rising temperatures driven by increasing levels of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere are creating ideal conditions for wildfires to thrive. Warmer temperatures mean drier landscapes which are more susceptible to catching fire. Drier landscapes mean more fuel for fires, turning forests into powder kegs. And when fires ignite in these parched environments, they burn hotter, faster, and with an intensity that is difficult to comprehend, causing unprecedented destruction. Let's take this wind emergency very seriously. As you heard uh, from the speakers before me, this is something that is gonna get worse throughout the night. So we all have to look out for each other. Climate change is also altering weather patterns, leading to more frequent and severe droughts, which further dry out the land. These prolonged periods of dryness further exacerbate the problem, turning once lush forests into tinderboxes just waiting for a spark to set them ablaze. The American West is now trapped in a vicious cycle. A warming climate creates drier conditions, leading to more severe wildfires, which release even more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, accelerating the warming process even further. This cycle shows no signs of slowing down. 
While climate change sets the stage, it's often human actions that light the match. From careless campfires to downed power lines, the vast majority of wildfires in the United States are ignited by people. And as more people move into fire-prone areas, the risk of human-caused ignitions only increases. This encroachment into wildland areas, known as the wildland-urban interface, is a recipe for disaster. As homes are built closer to forests and other flammable vegetation, the likelihood of wildfires igniting and spreading to structures increases dramatically. And with it comes a greater risk to human life and property. But it's not just about where we live, it's also about how we live. Our reliance on fossil fuels, our unsustainable consumption patterns and our collective failure to address climate change are all contributing to the wildfire crisis. We are literally playing with fire and the consequences are becoming increasingly dire. When these fires ignite, they burn with a ferocity that can overwhelm even the most seasoned firefighters. Once you get the fire going, well, it's already started. But the Santa Ana winds add in extra dry air. That sucks out all the moisture that's already there in the plants. So it dries them out quicker. So it's actually adding more fuel and then the speed helps the spread. The solution, many experts argue, is to embrace a more nuanced approach to forest management. This includes allowing some natural fires to burn under controlled conditions, implementing prescribed burns to reduce fuel loads and thinning out overgrown forests. The physical devastation caused by wildfires is undeniable, but the psychological scars can be just as deep, lingering long after the flames have been extinguished. For those who live through these traumatic events, the fear, anxiety and sense of loss can be overwhelming. Imagine watching your entire world go up in flames, losing everything you hold dear in the blink of an eye. It's just so sad. And I feel for everyone that's lost property and fires, I've never been this close to it. The trauma of such an experience can be profound, leading to post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety, depression, and other mental health challenges. The psychological impact of wildfires extends far beyond those directly affected by the flames. Entire communities can be traumatized by the experience, with social cohesion fraying and a sense of fear and uncertainty pervading daily life. The loss of homes, businesses and cherished natural landmarks can leave an indelible mark on the social and emotional fabric of a community. The wildfire crisis is not a distant threat, it's happening now, right before our eyes. Communities are being devastated, ecosystems are being destroyed and lives are being upended. And if current trends continue, the future looks even more grim. We actually came to say thank you to our house for being